In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Azure Stream Analytics to send data for storage in an SQL Server database. My name is Kutsai Mandi Teresa with Industry40.tv and I regularly publish Internet of Things videos on this channel. So if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell to make sure that you never miss any of the videos. So here I've got the Raspberry Pi device that is reading temperature and humidity sensor data from this DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor and sending that data as telemetry data to the Azure IoT Hub. And then here on my SQL Server Management Studio, I'm connected to my SQL Server database on Azure. And then inside that database, I've got a telemetry data table, which is where I want to store my temperature and humidity sensor data. So the first thing that I need to do is to log into my Azure portal. And then once I'm logged in, I'll click on create a resource. And then I'll select analytics. And then I'll click on stream analytics job. So each instance of stream analytics is called a job. So I'll give my job a name. And then I'll put it under my Azure Cost Resource Group. And then I want this Stream Analytics job hosted on the cloud, not on the edge. And then I'll go ahead and click Create. OK, and then I'll go to Resource once my deployment is successful. Okay, so what I want to do here is that I want to configure my Azure Stream Analytics to accept telemetry data coming from the Azure RT Hub. So I'll go into my inputs. And then I'll add a stream input. Select IoT Hub. So now I need to enter my input alias. So the input alias is the name that you used to reference to the input inside your query. So I'll call this from IRT Hub. And then here I have to make sure that the correct subscription is selected. The correct IRT Hub is selected. And then make sure that the endpoint is selected to messaging. And then the access policy that is selected is IoT Hub Owner, which is the policy that allows us to read and write to our IoT Hub. And then here we're going to be using the default consumer group. And then I'll go ahead and click Save to create my Azure Stream Analytics input. Okay, now that our input has been successfully created, I'll go back to my stream analytics job. Okay, now that we've configured our stream analytics job to accept input from the IoT Hub, what we want to do now is for it to filter through the data and send the output to our Azure SQL database. So I'll go ahead and create an output. And then again, the output alias is the name that you used to reference the output in your query. So I'll call this Azure SQL DB. So here I will choose to select the database from my subscriptions. So since this is the only database that I've got under my subscriptions, which is the only one that appears here, and the server name is already filled for me. So now I need to enter the username. And then I'll also enter the password. And then I'll also enter the name of the table in my database. And then I'll click on the save button to create my Azure Stream Analytics output. Okay, so I've successfully configured my stream analytics job to accept input from the IoT Hub and send the output to the Azure SQL database. 
Now let's put together the query that does the actual reading and writing. So I'll click on edit query. So here I'll paste my query. Okay, so here is how this query reads. We're selecting the average of temperature and humidity. We're inserting that into the Azure SQL DB from our IoT Hub. And then we're averaging the temperature and humidity over a period of one minute. Okay, save this query. Okay, now I'll go back to my stream analytics job. And then I'll click on the start button to start running the analytics job. Start it now. Okay, so our streaming job has started successfully. Now we should be getting data in our database after every minute. Now if I go to my SQL Server Management Studio here, select new query. Then I'll select everything from telemetry data. You see our data is coming through. So you see here the last telemetry data point was recorded at 14.29. So I'll execute again after a few minutes. Okay, if I execute it again, you see we have got two more telemetry data points at 14.30 and 14.31. Okay, so we've successfully created an Azure Stream Analytics job that accepts input from the IoT Hub and sends that for storage on our Azure SQL database. So, if you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share with your connections. Thanks for watching.